And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of Darth News. Special edition, fuck bears. Specifically grizzly bears. Fuck them. Uh, it's also kind of a special edition uh, car video slash uh, Europe European car video. Yeah, it's like a car video, but I'm in Europe. That's cool, right? Anyways, if it's not obvious, I'm still in Europe, and you're probably wondering why I couldn't just stay away. I said I was just going to unplug and just not be involved in social media, but here I am, just fucking coming right back. Why? Why can't I stay away? Huh? Huh? You know, I don't know. I tried. I really fucking tried. I did, but I just couldn't fucking do it. You know, but in all seriousness, why couldn't I just stay away? Huh? Why? Why was I compelled to come make a video? Huh? You, you guys, you want to know why? It's a, it's a pretty simple answer. It's because I fucking love you bitches. All of you. I love you. That's why I do this shit. For you. Well, it's, it's you know, a little, little, little secret. A little Darth News secret. I do this for me. But I do it for you too. No, not like the band U2. No, like you too. Just... Like me too, but you too. And I know there's a lot of you going, oh, but Darth, what do you mean? Special edition, fuck bears. What do you, what do you mean, fuck bears? Because I happen to love bears, okay? They're like the best, nicest, best animals ever. Haven't you seen a Jungle Books? Didn't you watch the movie, a Jungle Books? Okay, Baloo's is like the best, the best animal in the whole fucking movies, okay? He's like the, he's like the best. Bears are really good, okay? And to those fucking idiots who say, have you seen the Jungle Book? I say, have you seen the Revenant? Have you seen Grizzly Man? Have you seen what really happens to people that fuck with monsters? Yes, 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 lions and tigers and bears, they're technically animals, okay? But they're fucking monsters. They are literally monsters. They are monsters that walk this earth with fucking teeth and claws and just fucking muscle and, and size and strength and just, they're monsters. Anyway, so today's video is kind of like a, like a spiritual sequel uh, to last month's video where I, uh, I talked about the, uh, the grizzly bear that stalked this motherfucker and attacked him for 40 miles in the, in the wilderness. This, you know, I mean, just go watch the video. I, I explain the whole thing. But the dude literally was stalked by a grizzly bear for 40 miles through the snow. And it seems like these grizzly bears now have a... <clears throat> A taste for human flesh, if you know what I mean. They 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 they, uh, they like humans or not? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fucking bear whisperer. I don't know. I don't know. You know what the bears are thinking, but I'm assuming they think it's an easy snack. They think these stupid hippies that are walking these trails are just an easy snack. Okay, so with all the crazy news going on right now, um, that I'm sure you're all aware of with Afghanistan and just well. Afghanistan, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, you know? I, I know, we got some people out, but it's still not a good situation. Um, with, with all the crazy, real, uh, real news that's happening, I feel like it's just, it's, it's good to just take a break and to just uh, detach from that, just for a second, okay? And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go on to a Darth News video, not uh, the news video, because if it was the news, well, then this channel would suck because you know what? If you if you want to get the news, go to any other fucking channel on YouTube. Literally, go to go to fucking any channel, and they will give you the news straight. I give you the news with a twist, with a lemon twist, preferably. But the twist is, I just rant. <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? I just fucking rant. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's basically it. Yeah, and then I get to the news. Yeah, and, I, and I, I, I say a few, uh, you know, really bad jokes along the way. Uh, but speaking of bad jokes, um, before we jump in today to do uh, two... <clears throat> but speaking of really bad jokes, uh, before we begin today's uh, special edition Fuck Bears video, uh, I'd like to just start off with a little bit of a... Uh, uh, I like well, <clears throat> I like to warm the crowd up, you know? I like to warm you guys up with a little bit of comedy, you know? But, uh, well... But what I think is comedy, uh, many others would call shitty jokes. So there's that. Whether you think this is actual comedy or just a bunch of shitty jokes, it doesn't matter because we are about to get into it. Applejack. Oh, sorry. Hit it. Oh, 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 I I'm telling the jokes. You want me to tell the jokes? Oh, I thought we were gonna watch your video or something. No, you want me to tell the jokes? Oh, <laughs> well. Well, that might get a little bit cringe, you know? I don't know, I don't know if I should, I don't, okay, you want me, really? 
Whatever, Applejack. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, what do you get when you cross a polar bear and a grizzly bear at the same time? Huh? Anybody? Uh, well, well, you get fucking killed, for starters. You, you get ripped apart and eaten alive. Yeah, you fucking die. That's what happens. So don't don't run into a, a grizzly bear and a polar bear, because that would not be good. You, you probably would not make it alive out of there. If you ever catch yourself running from a grizzly bear, never, under no circumstances, ever go onto a roof of a house. Never climb onto someone's roof or your roof to, to get away from the bear, because bears can always jump much higher than a house. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. Well, considering houses can't exactly, they can't jump very high at all. I don't, th I don't think they can jump at all. So, so technically a bear can jump higher than a, than a house. If you want to get real, like, you know, if you want to get real, like, yeah, a bear, a bear can jump higher than a house. Yes, Applejack. Yeah, because, you know, mostly because, you know, houses can't, you know, jump and all. When's the last time you saw a house jump, huh? Huh? Have you ever seen a jumping house? I haven't. Maybe in, like, fucking Japan or some weird-ass place like that, but I don't know. Did you know that Chuck Norris got a grizzly bear carpet in his room, in his house? No, 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 it's not, it's not, no, it's not, a, it's, it's not a dead grizzly bear, it's, it's an alive grizzly bear, it's, 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 it's alive and well. It's just fucking terrified to move. It won't, it won't. <laughs> I mean, dude, if you think about it, grizzly bears kind of have, like, the weirdest mating calls out of any animal in the animal kingdom. It's like, you got, like, Papa Bear, right? Papa Bear's like, hey, Mama Bear. You want to fuck? And Mama Bear's like, yeah, 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 Daddy Bear. Come stick it in my cubby hole. I, I, think, I think that's how it goes down, right? Is, is, that, is that how it happens? But seriously, have you ever seen a skin, the grizzly bear? Because, because I have, okay? And that bear bear was barely bearable. Ha <laughs> ha. You had to think about it. You had to think about it. That means it's a good joke. That means it's a good joke. We're, we're, we're in the right track. We're on the right track. Not we're in, we're on. I just want to make sure I'm talking educated, okay? I don't want to talk like one of those uneducated colored folks. Uh, well, they're, I mean, they're, they're pretty, they're, they mean, they, they graduated like sixth grade, so they're pretty educated, you know? I mean, I don't know. I, f f c colored could be any color. I mean, really? Except for white, of course. Yeah, no, no. White's a no-go. Got it. Hey, I'll go one, I'll go one. Hey. Well, what's a grizzly bear's favorite venue? Uh, just tell me, Applejack. No, 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 no. First you have to guess. No, 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 there's no fucking point, okay? You know why there's no point? Because a bear can't go to a venue to begin with. Bears can't go to venues. They would be turned away at the door. Okay, the only venues a bear can get into is like a circus or some shit. I said you have to guess! Oh, fuck, fine, okay, I don't know, uh, uh, a high school prom. Does he like to go to high school proms? Grizzly Bear's favorite venue is the mall. Get it? Like M-A-U-L. It's... <sighs> yeah, 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 I get, I get it, Applejack, I get it. Not like M-A-L-L, -L, like M-A-U-L, like Darth Maul, like Maul, yeah! No, 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 no. Stop explaining it, I understand the joke. Okay, if you have to explain the joke, then it's no longer a joke. I, okay, well, when I explain a joke, it's different. Okay, you're you're a stuffed animal and a figment of my imagination and nothing more, so you have no say in what goes on in the real world. No, no, Applejack, that last joke was terrible. Okay, it was awful. Let me show you how it's done, okay? All right, let me show, let me show you how it's done. Does anybody here know what's more terrifying than a grizzly bear with AIDS and rabies? Well, the, the guy that gave it to the bear, obviously. That's that's what I'm worried about. That person. I'm worried about I'm worried about that guy. I wanna know who is running through the woods fucking bears and giving them AIDS. Why are we seeing no justice for these bears? Why is nobody speaking up for the bears? These bears are getting raped and they're getting fucking AIDS and they're gonna like eat people and give those people AIDS and then all the little animals that eat the body are gonna get AIDS and then everybody in this are all gonna have AIDS. Ah! What? There's a, nah, -uh. there's a cure for AIDS? Really? There's a, nah, -uh. what? <sighs> you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and um, a long time ago um, in Tijuana when I used to get mixed up with the wrong crowd, you know, like the cartels, uh, they, they forced me into a donkey show, but I didn't actually fuck a donkey. Instead, they made me fuck a clown. And, uh, 
a, a grizzly bear. I, I had to fuck a grizzly bear and a clown. And I couldn't do shit about it. I just had to uh, bear with it and laugh. Boom! Does anybody know the difference between Gavin Newsom and a grizzly bear? Well, Gavin Newsom, uh, well, did you want to answer it? Go ahead, answer it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gavin Newsom is an actual threat to school children. Hey, Doth, did you hear about the grizzly bear who, uh... Ugh, dude, just stop. It's just a joke, Doth. Yes, I know it's a fucking joke. And it's a, and it's a really fucking stupid joke at that. Hey, hang on, hang on, Doth. Just bear with me. <laughs> it's good, right? It's funny, right? It's funny, right? It's funny. Apple Jack for the win! Apple Jack for the win! I got, I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> you didn't actually think I was being serious, did you? You did? Wow. I must be a pretty good actor then. Hey, why did the grizzly get fired from his job? Huh? Why did he get fired? Because he was doing the bare minimal. <laughs> yeah, well, well, the door is that way. So, yeah, you can go ahead and see yourself out and take your shitty jokes with you. And do not come back in this office ever again. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I know, I know where it is. I know where it is. I know this is a car, but it's also an office. It's an office car. Get the fuck out of here! Well, whatever, Applejack, on the count of three, we're gonna read this stupid article. So one, two, three, Applejack, hit it! All right, we're over here at NBC News. The title reads, Hiker survives grizzly bear attack at Denali National Park. The victim might have actually cut the attack short by deploying bear spray, officials say. The article reads, a tourist from Indiana was attacked and injured by a grizzly bear at Denali National Park and Preserve in Alaska on Monday night, park officials said. Well, I mean, shit, you're in Alaska, so uh, yeah, bears uh, might, might, might want to eat you. Uh, the 55-year-old tourist, whose name was not released, was hiking alone in the dense fog uh, in the thoroughfare. Uh, he was hiking alone in the dense fog in the Thoroughfare Pass area when a mother bear and multiple cubs charged him from the nearby bushes, the National Park Service said in a statement on Tuesday. So again, I, I said fuck bears. These these bears are just protecting their own. They don't know any better. It's just, I'm, I'm just being funny when I say that. I mean, not, not that that's funny. I think it's funny. I'm not funny though. But anyway, um, I, I don't mean that these bears are are uh, assholes and fuck them. Uh, obviously, we uh, we cross paths, and uh, well, bears are a lot stronger than us, so it is what it is. The article reads, he had puncture wounds to a calf, his left ribs, and his left shoulder, the agency said. The victim used bear spray that might have cut the attack short. The park service indicated that he walked one and a half miles to a visitor center where medical personnel vacationing at the Denali, uh, at Denali treated him as a park bus driver called 911. That's where he was stabilized. Uh, now they say due to the apparent um, defensive nature of this, of this attack, there are no plans to locate the bear involved. The park service said, the female bears with cubs are naturally defensive of their young, especially when surprised. And there is no indication this bear is unusually dangerous. Again, you know, the, these bears aren't, I mean, they're dangerous. They're extremely dangerous, but they are uh, not dangerous unless provoked or they feel, they feel provoked. And they can't, you know, speak English, so we don't, we can't, we can't be like, hey, Mr. Bear or, or Mama Bear, I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not actually trying to kill your kids or anything like that. Don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to walk here. I'm just trying to walk through if you don't mind. Yeah, but that, that's just not how it works, you know? So unfortunately we can't, we can't communicate to these bears. I sound like, I sound like a fucking idiot. I, I sound like an idiot. No shit we can't talk to bears. That's my point. Uh, well, apparently grizzly bears are actually federally protected as they are a threatened species in the lower 48 states, according to the National Wildlife Federation. Fewer than 1,500 grizzlies are left in the lower 48, but they thrive comparatively in Alaska, where they have a population of about 31,000. The backcountry area of the attack is closed for one week as a precaution, the Park Service has said. So they closed down the, you know, the park area for a week, yada, 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 whatever. That's just all for fucking looks. This bear was surprised and the, the bear attacked. So again, when I say uh, special edition fuck bears, I don't mean fuck bears. I mean fuck you. Fuck you as in the human beings who aren't paying attention to nature as you walk through it. So uh, if you're gonna go on a lovely little stroll through the through the forest or through the through the woods, just uh, make sure you bring some uh, bear spray, you know, some mace, uh, or uh, 
just uh, keep your eyes open and make sure you don't piss off any mama bears. I mean, now I know I sound a little redundant, you know, talking about another bear attack, but uh, it, again, I want to just uh, take our minds off of the uh, the craziness that's uh, happening in our world today. I mean, the world is fucking burning around around us. I don't know if you've noticed, but the world is fucking burning um, to a crisp, and uh, no one's really doing anything to stop it. Uh, so, in in the midst of this uh, global uh, meltdown. Uh, but in the midst of all this uh, crazy, crazy shit happening in the world, I just wanted to uh, break away from that and, and uh, go back to my roots, which is just uh, stupid news stories, you know, that you would never hear of unless I told you or you looked for it, you know. But so uh, that's that's uh, I guess the point of today's video is just to just uh, take your minds off of the the real world and uh, focus on um, the little stories, you know. Or maybe you don't know. I don't fucking know. Wasn't that just fantastic? Wasn't that so much fun? I hope you enjoyed your time with me in the car and the 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 the, 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 the rape van. This is a this is a rape van. Not that I rape. I don't rape anybody. But the, but but you could. I mean, if you wanted to drive around and go find someone to rape, this is the van to do it. Just just saying. Don't don't do that. But this is the perfect van to do that. Anyways, with all that said, that's about really all I have to say on the topic. So until next time, don't you dare forget to pull out. That is P-O-O fucking L. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, go to my notification store. What is a notification store? I don't even know what a notification store is. Is that even a thing? <laughs> go to my merch store at DarthNews.com and buy some merch. Or go to my Patreon at DarthNews.com and donate as little as $1 a month. It goes a long way. Or you could... uh. I'll uh, turn your attention really quick to Jeremy. I won't say his last name, but Jeremy, thank you so much for that Cash App donation. I really, I mean, to be honest, I wanted to give you a shout out at the beginning of the video, but uh, I got carried away. But Jeremy, thank you so much for your donation. Um, I'm assuming you're going to watch the entire video. So, uh, you know, well, I'm just I'm just saying, like, if you don't... You, he donated money, so he probably watches to the very end. So I really hope you watch to the end, Jeremy, because I want you to know that I'm very thankful for uh, for your support. Truly. I, I, I mean that. I know it's hard to tell when I'm being serious and when I'm not, but I'm being, I'm being for real. Jeremy, if you want to have sex, just let me know. <laughs> just... <laughs> ah, I can't do it. I, I... <clears throat> This is a movie about women. They're not about cute girls. No, it's about killer hee, hee, women. Hee. Right. These girls just kick ass. They're right. warriors. They live by a code of honor, and they die by that code of honor, too. And, they, and innocent people die along the way. It's about that kind of thing. Now, tell me this. You know, innocent people die along the way because that's, unfortunately, that's the story of revenge. Revenge is okay. messy. It never works out the way you want it Why to. the need for so much gruesome, graphic violence? Why not let us imagine Because it's a so of it? much fun, Jan. Really? Get it.